Hello everyone and welcome to this bonus episode of Fallout 4, The Fastest Man Who Survived. If you can see this, that means you're in the future, and this recorded correctly. Uh, basically, I've got a new setup I'm testing. I've switched up the graphics cards I'm using, um, and I'm recording with OBS instead of my whole podge. Just wanted to try it out and see if this recorded any smoother, any different. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go investigate the Museum of Witchcraft, because that's not a terribly long quest, and uh, it'll give us a really nice melee weapon, too, actually, or unarmed weapon, sorry. I keep getting the two confused. Uh, we're going to go investigate that, and that'll be a real nice quick check of uh, the uh, the setup. So, this is, of course, Barry Allen, and he's the fastest man alive. And he's on his way all the way up here to the Museum of Witchcraft. Unfortunately, as you can see, there's not really much I have over there. The closest would actually be Ten Pines Bluff, so let's go there, throw in our suit, and get going. Right, just over here in the middle of nowhere, we're hidden. Uh, let me make sure I'm out of view of them. I just realized as I was putting all this together, I seem to be missing my flash belt, which is a weird thing to be missing. So, uh, oh, the mod updated. They may have changed the belt. I do notice the suit seems to be a much brighter hue of red. Alright, real quick, let's uh, dash back to uh, Sanctuary. I need to unload some gear anyways, and get me a new belt. Uh, super speed does not seem to be working without the belt. Hmm. This could be interesting. Okay, back here at Sanctuary, let's go check the, uh, chem station real quick. Uh, oh god, every time. Where did I put the chem station? There it is. Hey. Don't take offense to Marcy. <sighs> so they've updated the mod, and they changed how the mod works. It's no longer that speed is tied to the suit, which is how I liked it, because it was unique. Uh, it's now they just give you a, you can make jet, basically. <laughs> ah! to look into this a little bit. All right, we're fine, everyone. Disaster averted, if you saw the, uh, well, if I put the last bit in here. Uh, basically, I went to check out the suit, and the speed effect was gone, but uh, it's still gone. That's because they've actually changed how the mod works. So much like before, I can clash... Um, craft the uh, suit here as well as the knuckles but I also have flash slow time 1% and 10% which basically just jet with uh, with no addiction All right, if we come over here and look at the suit uh, the mods actually change so now I can change the color I can add a lightning effect and I can add a speed effect so I've made a suit with each of the speed effects and the one I'm wearing right now is no speed And this is the fastest suit with a lightning effect added to it. I think it looks pretty cool. It's that nice, bright, vibrant, classic red. So as I mentioned before, we're going to go take a look at the uh, Museum of Witchcraft just to test out my new recording setup. But also, there's something somebody asked me to test. And to test that, I need a very dear friend. Hello, Preston. Yo, oh, Preston, talk to me. Is there something you need? Yes. Come with me. I need your help. Sure thing, General. I think the folks here can manage on their own now. Thanks to you. Okay, Preston is now my follower. Hey, hey. Point me to it. We need to trade. Okay. This is what I've got. <laughs> Preston, I don't know how it happened, but sometimes lightning strikes twice. I can't tell if it's affecting him, though. Right, I've put on my fastest suit. Oh, this is gonna be great. Okay, we're gonna break the no followers rule because this is technically out of context. And we're gonna go check out the, uh... <laughs> oh. Oh. We're gonna go check out the Museum of Witchcraft. This is the best thing I ever did. Oh, wait! You know what you need, Preston. Hey. A pair of sharp flash knuckles of your very own. Right, we're now far on the other side of the world. The Salem Museum of Witchcraft is right over there. Um, I'm just going to run it and see if Preston keeps up. Figure it might be fun. All right, Preston. Let's see how fast you really are. <laughs> the 
the uh, flash slow time creates some interesting effects. Uh, for example, I don't touch the ground. Hmm. I wonder how I can use that to my advantage. Where you at, Preston? Oh, he is gone. Okay, I died terribly there. Let's try that again, and uh, this time not use the slow time. As expected, Preston doesn't seem able to actually keep up. I don't think the speed effect actually works on an NPC. Uh, he gets the lightning effect and he can wear the suit, which means he might get health regen as well, but he doesn't seem to get the super speed, which is unfortunate. Okay, so since this isn't going to work with Preston and he can't keep up, give me my stuff back. Hey. Preston is gone. I'm still wearing my fastest suit, which will be for travel. I also have the faster suit, the fast suit, and the flash suit, which I have created. Uh, basically, no speed, fast speed, faster speed, fastest speed. Alright, it's just me on this lonely road, and we are off. Right, that took a little bit longer than I anticipated. We are here in the Museum of Witchcraft. Uh, I have switched over to my fast suit because I no longer need to move at the speed of light. Ooh. was interesting. On this body right here, which is covered in uh, crows, we find Private Heart, who has a hollow tape, which we have to listen to. Jeffries, Lee got the recorder working. So this the sort of detail you had in mind when you signed up for the Gunners? Hauling luggage from Lynn Woods for some robot butler? Uh, what was his name? Uh, Wellington? <laughs> Wellingham? Not now, Private. Where's Connors? He's not at his post. Oh, uh, sorry, sir. The lieutenant said he found some tracks. Wanted to check them out. Private Martin. Tracks? What track? What the hell is that? Oh, my. Connor! Where, where's the rest of him? Jesus. Found us. Sergeant Lee, grab the case. Do not let that thing out of your sight. Everyone inside the museum, now! Major! Major, what found us? Right, so something terrible happened to the people who came here to the museum previously. The front door is chained from the inside. However, just around the side there is this little entrance hatch. Let's go in and explore the Salem Museum of Witchcraft. This is genuinely a, a pretty cool, fun little area. Oh, uh, hang on. Right, I've switched over to my suit without super speed for right now because I don't need it because I'm investigating. And as we can see, there is something in here. Oh, I love the Museum of Witchcraft. This is such a cool little area. Dropping the super speed is pretty useful here, too. Because you're supposed to be jump scared, and if I had super speed, I would miss a lot of them. Ooh, patrolman sunglasses. Those are actually really useful. There's our final goal to find out what happened to the gunners who came here. Savage Deathclaw. Last one we were able to knock away. Don't think I get that luxury this time though. Change over to a faster suit real quick just to get that speed bonus. Alright, 
let's use our new trick. Oh, you are ugly. Oh. Well, that was really cool. Right, so if you were wondering how the fight with the Death Claw in the beginning would have went if I uh, didn't have those flash knuckles on, there's your answer. Let's go see what he was doing here. And as we come around here, we find Sergeant Lee and a bunch of Death Claw eggs. Let's listen to what happened. Uh, a nest full of Death Claw eggs. A dozen, maybe more, smashed to bits. Except this one. No wonder they wouldn't tell us what was in that case. If I'd known, I would have personally told the gunner bosses and that glorified liquor cabinet Wellingham to take those Diamond City caps and stuff them. I guess we know why that Deathclaw tracked us all the way from Lynn Woods now. We <laughs> stole her damn kids. Christ, maybe, maybe if we just return the eggs. Oh, hey, Mama, you looking for this? So, of course, it wasn't a he after all. It was a she. It was a death claw trying to protect her clutch of eggs. Uh, the gunner here stole it for a robot in Diamond City who we haven't met yet. Uh, he runs one of the restaurants in the Upper City, and you can take the death claw egg to him uh, and uh, get the caps. But, well, we're missing a kid too, and we know how that feels. And so, sympathetic to the plight of the death claw, let's take this baby home. And indeed, here we find the Deathclaw nest. And we find a Deathclaw. But interestingly, this one won't attack you. As long as you don't leave this area with the egg, this Deathclaw is not hostile. And for returning the egg, we find ourselves with the Deathclaw indebted to us. But we do get one really useful reward. A lot of people miss this right here stuck in the ground. You get a free... Deathclaw Gauntlet. And as you can see, the Deathclaw Gauntlet, 48 damage, medium speed. Not quite as good as the Power Fist, but markedly better than our Knuckles. We may use it a little bit, we'll, we'll see. Now, if you are an asshole, which Barry is not, you can actually take the egg and fast travel out of here, and the Deathclaw won't be hostile to you. It's as long as you don't leave this area. Once you get past that corner, the Deathclaw becomes hostile and chases you down. But you can grab the egg and fast travel out of here to uh, Diamond City and get both rewards. But we're better than that. And back here at Sanctuary, just stretching our legs after a long day chasing death claws. Uh, like I said, if you could see this, it's because my test with my new recording setup and software turned out pretty good, which I think it did. And uh, I'm really glad I got to test out the new Flash stuff here. I think the lightning effect is really cool, and I'm uh, I'm glad I have a suit without the speed effect now for when I'm doing conversations or exploring and not in combat. Next time we come back, we pick up where we left off. We're taking on either the Brotherhood or the Railroad. We're going to go get both of those allegiances before we head on to the Memory Den and Good Neighbor. But for now, I am JC Baggy, and this is Barry Allen, and he is the fastest man who survived. Thank you very much. Thank you.